Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to walk you through the future possibilities of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So let us go ahead and take a look at the agenda for this session. So first of all, I will start with the basic introduction to AI and ML and then I will tell you the current scenario with respect to the applications of AI ML. After this, we will take a look at the future scope of AI ML. Moving further, we will discuss the key skills of an AI ML specialist. And finally, I will tell you how you could get a job as an AI ML specialist. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's postgraduate program in artificial intelligence and machine learning. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without any further ado, let us begin this session. Evolution of AI. So AI as we know today is entirely different from where it started. Back in the 18th century, it was entirely based on myths, speculations and fiction. But it did start taking shape and the real initiation in its truest essence took place in 1956. The AI search began with six major design goals. The first one was teach the machines to reason in accordance to perform sophisticated mental tasks like playing chess, providing mathematical theorems and others. The second one is knowledge representation for machines to interact with the real world as humans do. Like machines needed to be able to identify objects, people and languages. Programming language Lisp was developed for this very purpose. The third one is teach the machines to plan and navigate around the world we live in. With this, machines could autonomously move around by navigating themselves. The fourth one is enable the machines to process natural language so that they can understand the language, conversations and the context of speech. The fifth one is train the machines to perceive the way humans do like touch, feel, sight, hearing and taste. And general intelligence that included emotional intelligence, intuition and creativity was the sixth point. Talking about machine learning, machine learning as we know can be remotely explained with the evolution of robots in the past years. Although machine learning isn't just a machine that is going to learn stuff, it has a lot more to it. Basically, we have data at our bay, we train and test the model which in this case can be a robot and then make it to do tasks relevant to the learning. And then again, learning can be of different types which is supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement, etc. To know more about machine learning in detail, refer to our machine learning full course tutorial to get on speed. Now, let us go ahead and take a look at what exactly is AI and machine learning. So what exactly is AI? According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science dealing with the simulation of intelligent behavior in computers. AI is a technique that enables machines to mimic human behavior. Artificial intelligence is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making and translation between languages. If you ask me, AI is the simulation of human intelligence done by machines programmed by us. The machines need to learn how to reason and do some self-correction as needed along the way. And artificial intelligence is accomplished by studying how human brain thinks, learns and decide to work while trying to solve a problem. And then using the outcomes of this study as a basis of developing intelligent software and systems. Now let us go ahead and take a look at what exactly is machine learning. So machine learning is a concept which allows the machines to learn from examples and experiences. And that too without being explicitly programmed. So instead of you writing the code, what you do is you feed the data to the generic algorithm and the algorithm or the machine builds the logic based on the given data. Machine learning algorithms are an evolution of normal algorithms and they make your program smarter by allowing them to automatically learn from the data that you provide. Now that we know what AI and ML actually is, let us go ahead and take a look at a few applications of AI ML today. So AI ML can be widely used in so many applications and I have listed down a few applications to give you a wider perspective. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the usage of AI and ML in healthcare. AI and ML in healthcare is an angel in disguise. To understand this, imagine you have the past data of millions of patients with diseases in the past. Now all this data can be put to an effective use in a sense that we would be able to detect a disease in early stages with the help of machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. And since the numbers never lie, we can be pretty sure about the accuracy of the results. Even so, if we have any doubts, we can always check the accuracy in almost all the cases. 
now let's talk about the usage of ai ml in finance so artificial intelligence in finance is transforming the way we interact with money ai is helping the financial industry to streamline and optimize processes ranging from credit decisions to quantitative trading and financial risk management and if we have that figured out it saves us from a lot of bad and risky decisions now let us go ahead and take a look at object detection in which we use ai and ml so object detection today is playing an important part in the IT industry. For example, surveillance has never looked more tech savvy. Google Lens is one example that uses image recognition to identify the images on the camera in real time. Now let us go ahead and take a look at AI ML in risk detection and predictive analysis. So predictive analysis has proven its metal in the industry already with almost every organization using it to derive conclusions based on previous data. So one example is how sports franchisees such as a cricket team would take account of the performance of a player, let's say a batsman facing the deliveries of bouncer and short ball deliveries. So they will be able to figure out the best possible outcomes based on the short selection and strategies using the artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. So this is one way we can use predictive analysis or it's just one example. We can use it for many purposes. Like we can use it to predict stock prices that we can do in finance and we can use it to predict the weather based on the hundreds and hundreds of years of data that we already have. Now let's talk about AI and ML in marketing and advertising. So marketing and advertising industry is the most benefited with the evolution of AI and ML. They are able to recognize the browsing patterns of users through data and target users with specific content on the internet. For example, to reach out in a subtle way, you only see those ads which interest you. And you must have felt sometimes like you keep getting ads or you know the content on the internet that you talk about or you were talking about or you were thinking about. It's basically nothing but AI and machine learning uh, that is learning a pattern through the data and the, your browsing history or your browsing pattern and reaches out to you in the form of targeted marketing. And now that we have talked about the current applications, let us talk about how AI and ML will shape up in the future and how it would look like 10 years, maybe 20 years from now. So we cannot be sure about if AI and ML would shape in the future like we have seen in the movies, but for now we will stick to the realistic possibilities. Although when I say realistic possibilities, we are not really sure how it would look like, but we can take a guess. So when we talk about future of healthcare, healthcare would seem pretty reachable and advanced. Even now, researchers are working on detecting diseases in the early stages based on the lifestyle and other relevant data. And in the future, we can expect more advancements in the psychological part as well, where we will be able to identify traits and warnings in the early stages and work on it before it gets the better of us. Now imagine being able to cure a disease before even getting the hint of it. That is what researchers are aiming for. And it looks pretty promising guys, let me tell you. Now let's talk about the future of self-driving cars. So self-driving cars looks like a dream come true today. But in the coming decades, we are going to see a lot of developments in the self-driving cars. We would have overcome all the challenges that we face today and I'm not saying we will have levitating cars driving you to your destinations, but it won't be less than a fascinating experience that may look like a dream today or you might have seen in the movies. Now let's talk about the AI ML in manufacturing that would take the future. So robots in manufacturing is one thing that is going to change the future for us. Manufacturing industries will have the best ever workforce and I'm not talking about the human aspect of it. The manufacturing would be so much easier with the robots and since they don't get tired, and they won't even ask for leaves, or they might, we, we never know. And AI in robotics is a risky slope although, but that is not entirely true. Researchers and experts are working day and night to make it as safe as possible. And then again, let me talk about future of finance with AI and ML. So managing finance and risk detection would become a piece of cake. And to understand this in layman terms, you will be able to do your taxes without even lifting a pen. And the fraud detection and trading would become a lot easier and accessible. Financial advisory would take a much advanced shape as we are already seeing it with a lot of trading applications in the market. Then again, we have computer vision, which is going to change the future for us. And I'm sure most of you are aware of the concept of God's eye that we have already seen in the movies, although it is fictional, but not sure for the wrong reasons, but for the greater good, this might be the possibility in the coming years as computer vision has started to overcome a lot of challenges in the real time image recognition. And then we have the future of NLP, natural language processing, and it's going to, you know, it would open a lot of linguistic barriers in the conversational AI. The conversational AI that we see today is limited to certain tasks, but in coming years, it could be like a personal assistance or even a life guide as well. And with the recent advancement, we are aiming for a very flexible interface that is going to work for everyone with 
any linguistic experience or any linguistic expectations. And then we have a rather fictional concept that I'm going to talk about, which is immortality through AI. So there are scientists and researchers who are trying to figure out a way to map the brain simulation on a computer. So immortality isn't just living until the very eternity. It is, in my opinion, leaving a legacy. And but in hindsight, this task is pretty impossible. But we never know in the future. This might be a possibility. And we will be able to live through a computer where people would have figured out a way to shift all our brain simulations onto a computer and it will be able to think on its own like our own very image. So that is one possibility with the future in AI and ML that many researchers are actually aiming for and we might as well get through with it. So hang in there guys. And now let me just talk about a key skills of AI and ML specialists. There was a lot of applications that I just told you about. Now let's take a look at what are the skill sets that are required to become an AI ML specialist in today's world? So first of all, you have to be familiar with programming in Python and you must be very well aware of maths and statistics as well because it needs a lot of logic to build algorithms and understand them and there's a lot of applied mathematics behind it as well. So you have to be familiar with maths and statistics and programming language, which is Python and the versioning tools like TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, etc. And then you must have an expertise in one of the following machine learning domains, which is image processing, computer vision, language processing, speech signal processing, etc. And then you must have an advanced knowledge in deep learning algorithms as well because it is a very important aspect of AI ML. And there has to be an effective communication skills and a, you have to be a problem solver because in hindsight, if you get a problem, the only thing that an employer seeks from you is the solution of the problem. So anyways, you have to be a problem solver in that skill set. And you must be experienced in data visualization tools and methods like Tableau, Matplotlib, Power BI, etc. And there has to be a knowledge in Ensemble and online learning. And you must have an experience with SQL and other database related languages. And you have to be familiar with parallel computing using GPUs and unique big systems. So these are the key skills that are required to become an AI ML specialist, guys. Now let me just walk you through the market trends that looks pretty promising for now. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the market trends and it looks pretty solid guys with the amount of data flowing in each year that it is pretty obvious that it will be opening a lot of doors for skilled professionals and the correct approach is to get skilled since it is still in the evolution phase and we have to scale a lot more possibilities in these domains. So if you have the skill set for it, it's going to be a very bright future for you guys. And to be specific, there are a lot of opportunities in healthcare, finance, conversational AI or we can call it chatbots and object detection, etc. Almost every industry would move to automating their processes and what else than machine learning and AI to do your job. So it is the best time to learn AI and ML if you are looking for a bright career right now. And let us go ahead and take a look at the salary trends as well. So you get the perspective of how much you're going to get paid. So I have categorized the salary trends in a few job profiles in AI and ML. For a machine learning engineer, the takeaway fruits of your labor would look around $114,000 a year. And for a machine learning scientist, the average salary looks around $120,000 a year and can go as high as $150,000 a year. And for an AI engineer, the average salary is around $90,000, but it can go as high as $140,000 a year as well. And for an AI researcher, it goes from a $125,000 average to as high as $150,000 a year. And now let's go ahead and take a look at a few companies that are hiring right now for AI and ML specialists. And although there are a lot more companies that are hiring for AI ML specialists right now, I've just listed down a few over here. So we have Ford Motors, we have Capgemini, Accenture, Dell, Deloitte, Google, Amazon. And there are a lot of startups as well, which are actually artificial intelligence and machine learning based. So there's a lot of opportunity for you guys. And let me just tell you the best approach to actually get a job in AI ML industry. So the best approach to find a job as an AI ML specialist, even if you are a beginner, or an experienced professional, this works for everyone. So first of all, you have to start with the programming language, preferably Python, because it works best with AI and ML algorithms. And after you are done mastering these basics, start with machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. And before that, make sure you are sophisticated enough to work with data. I mean, you can analyze the data, clean it, prepare it for model building and etc. And try to learn all of them with the implementations on unique data instead of the generic data that you find on the internet. The next step would be to learn the advanced concepts in AI ML like TensorFlow for object detection, speech recognition, image processing, etc. And after you have mastered the versioning tools, you must make sure that you have a credibility in order to get a job. Because as an employer, anyone would look for a credible person proficient enough to do the job. And where will you get that? If you have a relevant master's degree, it is well and good. 
but if you don't have a degree you can always go for a certification which will give you the credibility and it is going to be the best option to prove your metal and then there's one way to look at it i mean you can take up the educas postgraduate program in uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning which is going to be a very good deal for you because it is an affiliation with a uh, top college and then you are good to go you can apply for jobs and you will get the job easily if you have all the skill sets and you have the experience in making relevant you know you are working on real time projects as well so these are going to be very useful for you and now that we have come to the end of the session guys don't forget to subscribe to edureka and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka and do check out edureka's postgraduate program in artificial intelligence and machine learning the link is given in the description box below thank you i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning